a warm welcome to all the students of class 9th here we are starting with our chapter number 1 that is number system first we'll start with types of numbers first is natural numbers the groups of the positive numbers which are countable are known as natural numbers we denote natural numbers by the capital by the symbol capital n here are some example of natural numbers that is 1 2 3 4 5 and so on second is whole numbers the groups of natural numbers with inclusion of zero in it are known as whole numbers we denote whole numbers by the symbol capital w here are the examples of whole numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on third is integers the groups of positive and negative numbers along with zero are known as integers we denote integers by symbol capital z the symbol z for integers comes from the word zelen which mean, means to count here are the examples of integers that is minus 3 minus 2 Minus one, zero, one, two, three, four, five. These all are considered to be integers. Then come to rational numbers. The numbers which can be expressed as ratio of integers are known as rational numbers. In other words, these are the numbers which can be expressed in p by q form, where q is not equals to zero, and we denote rational numbers by the symbol capital q the word rational comes from the word ratio and symbol q comes from quotient here are the examples of rational numbers 1 by 4 2 by 7 minus 3 by 10 and 34 by 7 one more th thing over here that is about zero now zero is considered to be as a rational numbers i am repeating over here zero is considered to be as a rational numbers now here are some equivalent rational numbers a rational number that does not have unique representation let us take some example to understand them we can write 1 by 3 as 2 by 6 and 2 by 6 as 4 by 12 similarly 4 by 12 as 12 by 36 and the list goes on so these types of numbers are known as equivalent rational numbers however for any p by q rational numbers we assume that p and q have no common factors other than 1 now one important thing over here there are infinite rational numbers between any two given rational numbers so here we'll solve one example that is find five rational numbers between 2 by 7 and 8 by 7 here as we know that there are infinite rational numbers between two rational numbers so uh, and we have to find five rational number so what we'll do here we'll first see that whether denominators are same or not yes denominators are same if denominators are not same so our first step is to make our denominators same by taking lcm now second step is uh, make equivalent rational number of both the given two rational numbers so what we have done over here is that 2 by 7 2 by 7 is written as 4 by 14 and 8 by 7 can be written as 16 by 14 we have found two equivalent rational number of both the two given rational numbers now we can find easily five rational numbers in between 4 by 14 and 16 by 14 that is 5 by 14 6 by 14 7 by 14 8 by 14 and 9 by 14 we can solve similar examples on it now come to irrational numbers irrational numbers are the numbers which cannot be written in p by q form where p and q are integers and q is not equals to 0 the irrational numbers were discovered by the pythagoreans there are in indefinite irrational numbers 
for example root 2 root 3 root 15 pi and so on are some irrational numbers now come to real numbers the group of numbers which includes rational and irrational numbers in it are known as real numbers we denote real numbers by symbol capital R now here are some important points to remember first is every natural number is whole number second is every integer is not a whole number here every integer is not a whole number because as we know that all the negative numbers are integers but all the negative numbers are not a whole number now third point is every rational number is not a whole number here again we can see that 1 by 2 that is a rational number but it is not a whole number then come to fourth point every rational number is a real number then fifth point every real number is not an irrational number here all you can take one more one example over here that one that is a rational number that is a real number too but not a irrational number now here is the assignment that contains some question that you have to solve it and then you can take queries on it thank you